Hello astrology friends, this is Buddhist teachings, and here is the forecast for the remainder of 2024. Starting from November 11th, this period brings revolutionary and transformative energy with powerful cosmic influences at play. The full moon conjunct Uranus mid-month introduces a sense of instability and unpredictability, but from a Buddhist perspective, it's a moment to reflect on impermanence and practice calm amidst turbulence. Pluto transitions into Aquarius, where it will stay for the next 18 years, signaling profound transformation akin to the major world revolutions such as the French and American revolutions. Facing these significant changes, we can learn to view them as part of the universe's flow keeping a peaceful mind and staying mindful, rather than being swept up in chaotic emotions. This time also begins with a new moon in Scorpio on November 13th, symbolizing a new cycle and offering a chance to plant positive intentions and pursue long-term goals. Saturn's support, through a trine to the new moon, brings stability and endurance to these new beginnings making it an ideal time to implement meaningful changes focused on sustainable outcomes, much like the Buddhist teachings on patience and diligence. As Pluto and Mars oppose each other toward the end of November, we might feel a rebellious, confrontational energy. However, Buddhism reminds us that external conflicts often mirror internal struggles. This is an opportunity to practice compassion, transform suffering through mindfulness, and maintain a steady mind through all changes. Overall, the remainder of 2024 may be a journey filled with ups and downs, but it also opens a path for reflection, peace, and deepening mindfulness practice. Thank you for being here. And may everyone find peace and insight as the year draws to a close. Let's explore the significant astrological events for the rest of 2024. The new moon in Scorpio has initiated a powerful new cycle, followed by Mercury entering Sagittarius, where it will stay throughout November and December, entering its shadow period from the start of the month. Mercury has already begun to show the influence of its upcoming retrograde. From a Buddhist perspective, this reminds us of impermanence, the constant change in everything, and the need for inner peace to respond effectively. Throughout November and December, Mercury will square Saturn three times, first on November 12th while still direct, then twice in December, on the 6th and towards the end of the month. These squares act as cosmic reminders, urging us to pause, carefully review everything, and avoid rushing. In Buddhism, this is a time to practice mindfulness, patience, and restraint. Saturn, like a strict teacher, demands our attention to detail to avoid mistakes and maintain clarity in communication. As Mercury retrogrades from November 25th, be careful to back up data, check passwords, and review important documents. This is also election season in some places, and with Saturn squaring Mercury, delays or recounts may occur, emphasizing the Buddhist lesson on karma and transparency. These unexpected events serve as reminders of karmic balance and the importance of truth. At the beginning of November, we also have a Mars-Pluto opposition peaking around November 3rd to 5th, with Mars and Cancer opposing Pluto and Capricorn. This aspect may create tension between the public and institutions of power. In Buddhist philosophy, these external conflicts reflect inner discord, reminding us of the importance of compassion and self-awareness. Mars and Cancer may provoke strong emotional responses, and if not controlled, could lead to arguments or conflicts. Pluto and Capricorn represents authority and control, 
stimulating challenges against those in power. In this turbulent time, Buddhist teachings on selflessness and compassion are especially valuable. Rather than being swept away by strong emotions, we should strive to maintain inner peace, observe everything with a non-judgmental mind, and seek ways to alleviate suffering through compassion. Practicing mindfulness and grounding ourselves in inner tranquility will help us face these changes with wisdom and deep understanding. As we enter this dynamic period, the cosmic energies intensify, with Mars in its pre-shadow phase and Cancer sparking restlessness and the need for self-expression. This is a time when people may feel the urge to stand up, have their voices heard, and push back against established power structures symbolized by Pluto and Capricorn. This alignment can stir up strong feelings and potential clashes, as Mars represents the collective's desire for change, while Pluto signifies deep-rooted authority. From a Buddhist perspective, this tension serves as a reminder of the importance of mindfulness. Instead of reacting impulsively, we are encouraged to observe our emotions, recognize them without attachment, and choose a path of peace. Fortunately, Neptune in Pisces offers a calming influence, forming a gentle trine with Mars. Neptune's energy provides an alternative to confrontation, urging us to embrace compassion, patience, and kindness in moments of heightened emotion. We can choose to let go of anger, soften our responses, and, as the Buddha teaches, respond with understanding rather than resistance. Spending time in nature, taking moments of stillness, or practicing meditation can help us navigate this intense period with a sense of calm. Mid-November also brings Saturn turning direct in Pisces. During its retrograde, Saturn often emphasizes challenges, creating an atmosphere where growth requires discipline and introspection. As it moves forward, the obstacles begin to ease, and those who have been diligently working toward their goals will start to see progress. For Capricorn and Aquarius individuals, this shift offers welcome relief, bringing more flow and less resistance in their pursuits. Saturn's lesson here is clear, patience and persistence bear fruit. On the same day, a full moon rises in Taurus. Normally, Taurus brings grounded energy, inviting us to relax and enjoy life's simple pleasures. However, this full moon carries an undercurrent of rebellion, a desire for transformation that is far from calm. Rather than succumbing to this charged energy, we are reminded of the value of inner peace. It's a time to cultivate stillness, look within, and hold steady amidst external intensity. By staying mindful and grounded, we can harness this full moon's energy constructively, channeling it toward meaningful and lasting change while remaining centered in our compassion. As we approach this powerful period, the cosmic influence of the star Algol, often linked to the myth of the Gorgon Medusa, becomes prominent. Positioned at 25 degrees Taurus, Algol carries deep emotional intensity rooted in themes of anger, betrayal, and transformation. Medusa's story reminds us of pain turning to fury, and under the light of this full moon, we may see similar intense emotions surface collectively. Aligned with Uranus, the planet of sudden truth and disruption, Algol's influence could bring hidden truths to light, sparking reactions that challenge our patience and resilience. From a Buddhist perspective, this is a reminder to remain mindful and balanced, allowing these energies to pass without becoming ensnared by their intensity. With Taurus being an Earth sign, this alignment may manifest in tangible ways, 
such as shifts in natural phenomena or changes within financial markets. Taurus governs material wealth and resources, so fluctuations in economic factors or food prices may become noticeable. This period encourages us to observe without attachment, embodying Buddhist teachings on detachment and mindful presence amidst the ebb and flow of material conditions. On a personal level, Uranus brings the potential for sudden breakthroughs and revelations, a light bulb moment that can dramatically change our perspective. Known for its quick transformative energy, Uranus can open our minds to new understandings, aligning us with insights that may have previously seemed out of reach. Under a full moon's illuminating influence, these insights often signal completion or reveal the results of long-term efforts, making this an ideal time for reflection and self-awareness. Algol, although often associated with intense challenges, is also regarded by some ancient sources, including Hermes Trismegistus, as a star connected to prosperity and reward. For those who have been diligent and resilient, this full moon could mark a time of receiving the fruits of their labor. However, globally, this energy encourages us to address deeper societal issues, especially around wealth and power, from a place of clarity and compassion. As we navigate this cosmic period, we are reminded of the impermanence of all things, encouraging us to meet each shift with grace and inner strength. On November 19th, Pluto will make its final entry into Aquarius, marking the end of its back and forth journey between Aquarius and Capricorn. This transition is more than just an astrological event, it signals the closing of an era and the dawn of another. Pluto's years in Capricorn, starting in 2008, deeply unsettled our faith in governments and institutions, exposing systemic flaws and eroding public trust. As Pluto moves into Aquarius for the long haul, it shifts its transformative power towards technology, science, and the structures that support our increasingly digital world. Nostradamus, in his enigmatic prophecies, hinted at an era when human inventions and knowledge would both elevate and endanger society. This aligns with the technological scrutiny that Pluto and Aquarius will bring. Aquarius, a sign of progress and innovation, holds both promise and caution under Pluto's influence. In many ways, Pluto's transit through Aquarius may herald a new wave of control, not through traditional power structures, but through technology and science. Digital surveillance, artificial intelligence, and data control could become central themes as society grapples with the double-edged sword of technological advancement. Nostradamus foresaw a rise in machines and humanity becoming entangled in its own creations, a chilling forecast for a world increasingly governed by algorithms and digital oversight. This period will test humanity's relationship with technology, compelling us to redefine ethical boundaries and responsibilities. Moreover, Aquarius rules social systems, markets, and communal structures, suggesting that Pluto's influence may trigger transformations in global economies and social networks. When Pluto briefly entered Aquarius earlier in 2023, major U.S. banks unexpectedly collapsed, reminiscent of Pluto's transition from Sagittarius to Capricorn in 2008, which triggered the global financial crisis. Nostradamus's visions of economic upheavals and gold turning to dust might foreshadow disruptions in financial systems, stock markets, and global trade. As we enter this new phase, significant economic restructuring is likely, 
with weakening trust in traditional financial institutions and the rise of alternative systems like digital currencies. The influence of Pluto in Aquarius is poised to be profound and lasting, sparking revolutionary shifts in our interaction, innovation, and governance. Nostradamus's prophecies of upheaval and the rise of new orders suggest that as old structures crumble, humanity may forge new ways of being, guided by technological and scientific evolution. While the journey may be challenging, this transition offers an opportunity to balance progress with wisdom, ensuring that our creations serve us rather than control us. As we navigate this powerful era, the teachings of detachment and mindfulness can provide an anchor, helping us remain grounded as we face the promise and peril of a rapidly transforming world. With Pluto's decisive move into Aquarius, we are entering an 18-year period promising groundbreaking scientific breakthroughs and fundamental shifts in societal function. While these changes won't appear immediately on November 19th, they mark the beginning of a transformative era. With Aquarius governing populations and Pluto representing deep, often challenging transformations, we might witness a gradual shift in global demographics and the evolution of population size and social structures. Aquarius, associated with community, humanitarian ideals, and collective progress, could drive a reimagining of societal roles and empower the voices of the many over the few. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius, the world saw the French and American revolutions, which shifted power from monarchies to the people. Pluto's return to Aquarius may inspire similar movements, bringing humanity closer to ideals of equality and justice. Yet, Significant resistance from established powers is likely, as every step toward progress often meets opposition. Change may come swiftly under Aquarius's influence, sparking movements that challenge old systems and build new ones more aligned with modern values. With Mercury also retrograding on November 25th, this period encourages us to revisit and refine our plans. It's an ideal time for tying up loose ends and ensuring stability as we prepare for these seismic shifts. To uncover what these powerful cosmic changes mean for Capricorn, one of the most resilient signs, make sure to keep watching. Capricorns are about to face intriguing transformations that could reshape their paths and redefine their ambitions. Stay tuned to explore the hidden opportunities awaiting Capricorn during this incredible transition. Before we dive into these cosmic insights, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, where we explore the hidden wisdom of the stars, mystical revelations, and the abundant energy the universe has in store for you. Stay tuned, because I have something truly exciting a powerful yet straightforward technique you can begin today to boost your potential for financial success in the coming months. Trust me, this is one opportunity you won't want to miss. This month for Capricorn begins with a new moon in Scorpio in the 11th house, signaling a period focused on social relationships and community. According to Buddhist philosophy, Every connection holds significance and presents an opportunity to practice compassion and understanding. This is an ideal time to reassess your social environment, practice mindfulness in your interactions, and cultivate meaningful relationships. If you receive invitations to events or activities, embrace these opportunities with an open heart. Your participation not only brings new possibilities but also serves as a chance to practice gratitude and presence in each moment. Connecting with like-minded individuals, joining online groups, 
or becoming part of organizations and movements can provide support and companionship on your personal and professional journey. Buddhism emphasizes building positive karma through right actions. Enhancing your business or personal network not only offers material benefits but also helps create a positive, sustainable community. Consider setting new long-term goals or pursuing dreams that require persistence and continuous effort. New connections, clients, or followers will support these endeavors, fostering a lasting chain of positive karma. If you're planning marketing strategies to reach a broader audience, gain more benefits, or expand your business, now is the perfect time. The 11th house relates to income and social prestige, helping you strengthen your presence and influence within the community. Additionally, if you're embarking on long-term projects, such as pursuing a PhD, attaining a title, becoming an owner, or initiating a significant project, this period is favorable. The influence of Saturn during this new moon ensures your efforts will progress steadily and sustainably over the long term, even if the advancement is gradual. Advice to seize opportunities asterisk. Incorporate mindfulness into daily interactions asterisk pay attention to opportunities around you and recognize relationships that can support your future growth. Expand your network asterisk participate in groups, workshops, or events where you can connect with like-minded individuals. Set long-term goals asterisk create a concrete plan to achieve them, maintaining patience and consistency for sustainable results. Practice gratitude asterisk appreciate opportunities and connections. Maintaining a positive mindset to attract more positive experiences. Remain flexible and open to change asterisk adaptability is essential for embracing new developments and fostering personal growth. This month, Capricorn experiences significant celestial shifts as Mars enters Leo, creating a prolonged opposition with Pluto that spans most of November and extends into December. This alignment occurs along the axis of your second house, particularly impacting those at the final degrees of Capricorn, 27th, 28th, and 29th degrees. During the first week, the tension between Mars in your sixth house and Pluto in your first house may become palpable, potentially leading to conflicts with clients, business partners, or significant others. These interactions may trigger strong emotional responses, urging you to practice mindfulness and maintain inner calm amidst external pressures. As Mars transitions into your eighth house and enters a retrograde phase in December, your focus shifts to deeper matters such as taxes, insurance, inheritances, mutual finances, and money received from others. This period also emphasizes intimacy, personal transformation, and uncovering hidden truths. According to Buddhist teachings, this is an opportunity to engage in self-reflection and embrace impermanence, allowing you to release attachments that no longer serve your growth. Power struggles may arise, particularly around values and possessions, highlighting the importance of compassion and understanding in resolving conflicts. By approaching these challenges with equanimity and right action, you can transform potential tensions into opportunities for personal and spiritual development. During November and December, remain aware of potential clashes over financial matters and personal values. These conflicts may involve discussions about contributions, responsibilities, and the balance between personal and shared resources. Embracing the Buddhist principle of non-attachment can help you navigate these disagreements with grace, 
fostering harmonious relationships and ensuring a stable financial foundation. A positive shift occurs on the 11th of the month when Venus enters your sign, offering a protective influence against the Mars-Pluto tensions. This Venusian energy allows you to engage in activities that nurture love and harmony, providing a sanctuary for romantic endeavors and meaningful connections. From the 11th until the end of the month, take advantage of this period to cultivate loving-kindness, matter and strengthen your relationships, whether through romantic dates or simply spending quality time with loved ones. These moments of connection will support your emotional well-being and provide balance to the intense energies experienced earlier in the month. Advice to Seize Opportunities Asterisk Embrace mindfulness in interactions asterisk stay present and aware of underlying emotions and motivations in your relationships. Deepen understanding and compassion asterisk foster empathy when faced with conflict. Practice non-attachment asterisk seek resolutions that honor both your values and those of others. Expand networks with integrity asterisk ensure your actions align with your long-term goals and ethical principles. Allow Venusian energy to guide you asterisk cultivate harmonious and fulfilling connections, enhancing both personal and professional life. This month heralds a period of transformation and renewal for Capricorn. As Venus gracefully transitions into your first house, the sector governing self-expression and personal identity, you may find yourself radiating increased charm and attractiveness. This is an ideal moment to present your authentic self to others as your enhanced presence fosters more meaningful first impressions and smoother social interactions. Embrace the Buddhist principle of mindfulness, allowing yourself to fully experience the joy and contentment this period brings, fostering a sense of inner peace and happiness. On the 19th, Pluto concludes its long transit through your sign releasing you from the intense and transformative energies that have influenced your life for the past 15 to 16 years. This significant shift marks the beginning of a healing journey, with Venus starting to mend the deep-seated changes Pluto has wrought. According to Buddhist teachings, this is a time to practice letting go of attachments and embracing impermanence, allowing you to move forward with greater clarity and serenity. Looking ahead to 2025, Pluto will no longer traverse your sign, paving the way for enhanced support and stability in your endeavors. Capricorns can anticipate increased support from various aspects of life, including opportunities for love and meaningful relationships. Those who have navigated Pluto's challenges with resilience will find that other planetary influences, such as Saturn and Neptune, feel more manageable and less daunting. Mid-month, on the 15th, a full moon illuminates your fourth and fifth houses, activating areas related to home, family, love, and creativity. This full moon may bring unexpected developments in your romantic life, such as surprise dates or unforeseen revelations about your current relationships. The fifth house also governs children and the things you hold dear, making this an ideal time to cherish your connections with loved ones and engage in activities that ignite your passion and joy. However, the full moon's light can also reveal hidden truths about your romantic partners, sometimes leading to necessary endings if a relationship no longer aligns with your true self. Embracing the Buddhist principle of honesty and truthfulness can help you navigate these revelations with grace and compassion. As the month progresses, Uranus, the planet of sudden changes in truth, adds an element of excitement and unpredictability to your romantic and creative pursuits. While Uranus can bring explosive moments, 
It also offers opportunities for exhilarating entertainment and personal growth. The latter part of the month is characterized by celebrations, enjoyment, and social gatherings. Whether you're spending holidays dining at restaurants, attending parties, or engaging in leisure activities, this time encourages you to savor the present moment and cultivate joy. Guidance to embrace this period asterisk. Integrate mindfulness into daily interactions asterisk stay present and fully appreciate the positive energies Venus brings. Enhance self-expression asterisk use this time to build stronger connections with others. Let go of past attachments asterisk as Pluto exits your sign. Welcome the healing energy that allows for personal growth and renewal. Embrace honesty and compassion asterisk face revelations about your relationships with actions that align with your true values, fostering harmonious connections. Seek out new experiences asterisk allow Uranus to inspire you, maintaining a grounded approach to sudden changes. Celebrate joy and connection asterisk use opportunities in the latter part of the month to strengthen bonds with loved ones and create lasting memories. By incorporating Buddhist principles of mindfulness, non-attachment, and compassion, Capricorn can navigate this transformative period with wisdom and grace, paving the way for a future filled with love, support, and personal fulfillment. As November unfolds, Capricorn encounters a blend of celestial influences that present both challenges and opportunities for growth. Mid-month, Mars enters Leo, opposing Pluto until December, impacting your second house. This alignment may heighten tensions in finances and relationships. Embrace mindfulness to remain calm and navigate conflicts with clients, partners, or loved ones with clarity and compassion. Towards mid-November, unexpected developments may arise related to children or creative projects. Whether you're completing a website, finishing an article, or seeing the rewards of your efforts, the new moon brings joy and support. Celebrate your achievements with gratitude, aligning with the Buddhist practice of appreciating the present moment. On November 15th, Saturn turns direct in your third house, resolving past communication issues and easing intellectual pressures. This shift encourages patience and persistence, reflecting the Buddhist belief that enduring challenges leads to greater wisdom and stability. As Saturn moves forward, previous obstacles in communication and collaboration begin to dissolve, fostering inner peace. Venus continues to shine in your sign, enhancing your attractiveness and fostering harmonious relationships. Beginning November 11th, Venus brings soothing energy to shield you from past tensions, making it an ideal period for romantic and creative pursuits. Embrace loving-kindness to deepen connections and cultivate inner peace. On November 19th, Pluto exits your sign, concluding a lengthy phase of intense transformation. This shift aligns with the Buddhist principle of impermanence, encouraging you to release old attachments and welcome new opportunities. Looking forward to 2025, Pluto's departure signifies increased support and stability, paving the way for personal and financial growth. The full moon on November 15th activates your fourth and fifth houses, highlighting areas related to home, family, love, and creativity. Expect unexpected developments in your romantic life or creative projects. Use honesty and compassion to navigate any revelations, ensuring your relationships align with your true self. Uranus adds excitement and unpredictability to your romantic and creative endeavors, encouraging you to seek new experiences while staying grounded. 
The latter part of the month is perfect for celebrations and social gatherings, allowing you to savor joyful moments and practice mindfulness. Mercury retrograde begins on November 25th in your 12th house, emphasizing introspection and behind-the-scenes work. Focus on organizing and completing tasks and practice mindfulness to manage any minor disruptions. Use this time for spiritual studies, planning future projects, or reflecting on your dreams. Guidance to embrace this period asterisk. Practice mindfulness asterisk stay present in your interactions and appreciate the positive energies Venus brings. Embrace non-attachment asterisk let go of past attachments as Pluto exits, welcoming healing in growth. Cultivate compassion asterisk approach relationship revelations with honesty and kindness. Seek balance asterisk enjoy new experiences inspired by Uranus while maintaining stability. Stay organized during retrograde asterisk focus on introspection and completing tasks with mindfulness. As November unfolds, Capricorn is set to embrace significant transformation and growth. The final months of 2024 hold remarkable promise, inviting you to remain open and receptive to the abundant energy around you. Begin by finding a quiet space to practice mindfulness. Close your eyes, breathe deeply, and visualize a warm, radiant light enveloping you symbolizing abundance and peace. Allow your heart to open, welcoming prosperity and new opportunities. On November 15th, Pluto exits your sign, marking the end of a long period of intense transformation. This aligns with the Buddhist principle of impermanence, encouraging you to let go of old attachments and embrace new beginnings. As Pluto retreats, the influences of Saturn and Neptune become more manageable, providing stability and support for your personal and financial growth. The full moon on November 15th highlights home, family, love, and creativity, bringing unexpected developments in these areas. Approach these changes with honesty and compassion, ensuring your relationships align with your true self. Venus continues to shine in your sign, enhancing your attractiveness and fostering harmonious relationships. From November 11th, Venus protects you from earlier tensions, making it an ideal time for romantic and creative pursuits. Embrace loving-kindness to deepen your connections and cultivate inner peace. As Mercury enters retrograde on November 25th in your 12th house, focus on introspection and behind-the-scenes work. Organize and complete tasks with mindfulness, turning potential disruptions into opportunities for personal growth. Looking ahead to December, as Mercury retrograde winds down, finalize important tasks and prepare for new projects with a clear mind. Embrace the flow of abundance and let the universe guide you toward a luminous and fulfilling future. By integrating Buddhist principles of mindfulness, non-attachment, and compassion, Capricorn can navigate this transformative period with wisdom and grace, fostering personal growth, meaningful relationships, and inner peace. If you're looking for a solution to improve the quality of your living space in your mind, don't overlook agarwood incense. Agarwood incense not only helps purify the air, but it also creates a peaceful atmosphere, helping you relax and reduce stress after a long day. With natural ingredients and a meticulous handcrafted production process, agarwood incense ensures safety for you and your family's health. The subtle aroma of the incense will refresh your living space, creating a sense of relaxation and harmony. Don't miss the chance to own this wonderful product. 
Click on the product link to order today and experience the difference that Agarwood Incense brings. Care for yourself in your living space with a smart choice like this. Thank you for joining me on this journey of prosperity and self-discovery. Embrace the opportunities ahead, trusting that the universe is aligning everything in your favor.